So you've set up your Facebook business page because, well, you're a streamer and streaming is a business and obviously Facebook thinks that way because you can't stream on your profile page. But the thing is, is what, we're in part three of the series. We've already done the profile, we've done the cover art, but now we're gonna show you how to do an animated or a video cover art or cover thingy, whatever. All right, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. This is Live Streaming Tech. And if you want to learn more about live streaming online, platforms like Facebook, of course, YouTube, DLive, Twitch, and beyond, then make sure you click that subscribe button and turn that little bell notification to on and make it big so you don't miss a single video. Yeah, speaking of, you might have missed already a couple of the parts. We're going to leave uh, links in the description down below to where we talk a little bit more about yeah. optimizing. Or go to the very end and uh, you'll see we're going to yeah. shout it out when we get to the end. But uh, we've showed you how to optimize your Facebook business page for live streaming. Whether you're a gamer or you're just an entrepreneur, either way, you make it, shake it, or bake it. you got to make sure this is all dialed in. you got to look professional. Speaking of professional, this is something you stumbled on not too long ago. Uh, actually, it's been a little over a year ago because I remember you asking me and I said, well, I'm kind of rusty on it. But I stumbled upon uh, learning how to make an animated, which I didn't know at the time and I just, I like to read a lot of articles and I found out that you can animate or make a video actually part of your cover art. And when we're talking the cover art and when you're on your Facebook page, it's that thing at the top that people see. So what better way to have people recognize your brand than with an actual moving picture or an actual moving video versus a still image. You can get your branding and what you're about more across through a 20 second to uh, 60 second video on uh, your, your cover. And if I'm not uh, mistaken too, you can actually run some boosted post ads on those uh, yes. video assets and that's gonna be another way. So if you're doing a really good channel art uh, of some sort to where people know, okay, this is what they can expect from you and you get them all hyped up, this is a great way to go. But this is gonna be a longer video and we're gonna have some timestamps inside the description down below. So let's see about doing the screen wipe, starting up and down. Okay, for us to create the video for the Facebook cover art, we're gonna be using the software called Camtasia. This is our preferred video editing software. You can get that at livestreamingtech.site slash Camtasia. In fact, you'll get a 30-day free trial when you visit that. Bear in mind that if you end up rendering any videos while you're still in the trial, it's gonna have a watermark over top of that, but you can at least follow along. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Camtasia. Okay, so let's select new project. Now, I just want to point out really fast to you that we need to go over, first of all, get the project settings underneath file, and we're going to hit the drop down and select Facebook cover video. So you'll notice 820 by 462 is actually what Facebook recommends. So it's a little bit different from the 820 by 312 when you're using just an image. Now, we're going to probably keep it 30 frames per second. If you're feeling like you want to have really good quality, you can always use 60 frames per second. So we're just going to hit apply. All right, so now it has everything into the dimensions that we need it in. And I want to point out right here is what's called library. And underneath the library, they have different icons you can utilize. Okay, if we just hit the drop down here, you can see it has buildings, businesses, uh, education, and intros is the most important thing here. So we can right click on any of these and then press preview. And you can see right away what it looks like. Not too bad, right? And we can switch out each of these elements, change in our own things. We can drop in a logo. We can put in the name of our specific business page. You know, the it's limitless at the number of things that you can end up doing. Now, I already have some assets that I have already made, so there's no sense in me going and using theirs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my drop down and I'm going to go to a folder that I'm already using for live streaming tech. And I'm going to drop in my bumper. We're going to hit right click add the timeline now i know that already i have the audio here i'm going to separate that i want to get rid of that audio because we're going to drop in the full theme song now bear in mind you can only do a video 20 to 90 seconds long for your facebook cover art you can't do anything less you can't do anything more so i'm going to find that happy middle middle ground there thinking 30 seconds will be more than sufficient. So we're gonna right click. I'm gonna drop my theme song in here. Now, I'm gonna be sharing this template here with you over at the link for livestreamingtech.site slash 
FB template. That's Facebook template. You actually get uh, some more templates to the profile picture as well as the static cover art. So um, we're gonna zoom in just a little bit more just to let you know we have the rights to this specific music. You are not permitted to use this specific music. You can find something, say, through freesound.org where you can even purchase some, uh, some audio licensing through places like Audio Hero and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna zoom in just a little bit more and let's kick up this volume. I'm gonna go 100% on it. All right, let's go right up to the end of the specific wave here. So just scoot in there, all right. And now that it's highlighted on this, I'm gonna press the letter S. It's gonna delete that and there we go. We're just gonna click and drag it right on over. All right, now the next thing is let's just zoom out. I press the control and I'm gonna use my scroll wheel. We're just gonna zoom out just a bit and I'm gonna come back over here and we're gonna clip the end somewhere. Uh, we're gonna go just a little bit more. And I'm just gonna scoot this until it's about at 30 second mark because I, I really don't wanna go past 30 seconds. And you're gonna see how I'm gonna fill. It's gonna be rather easy when it's all said and done. So we're gonna scroll it on down there. 30 seconds in, not too bad. Now, I don't want this music to keep going, so I'm gonna go into audio effects and we're just gonna go ahead and fade it out. So that way it's like this. So notice it kind of fades out, so this is great. It's gonna work out really well for us. All right, so we can probably move this, keep this down on this layer, and I'm gonna lock it, so that way it's not getting you know, deleted in any capacity. All right, now I have our normal intro bumper, if you will, for our videos. And so I think at this point, we could probably start to create some good transitional elements. Here's what it gets fun. We're gonna head, first of all, let's save our projects. That way, for some reason, something goes south, we can always fix this later. So we're gonna go ahead and call this Facebook video. All right, I know I misspelled that, but I think we'll be fine misspelling it. All right, the, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit record. And this is gonna be fun, so we're gonna hit record. Now I'm gonna just drag this over to the screen so you can kind of see this. This is on my other monitor, and you'll be able to select whether your camera's on or off, but since I'm utilizing this through another recording software, I, I've gotta leave it off but you can choose the specific type of audio you wanna utilize. You can also get it to where you record a system audio as well. And in this event, uh, I wanna make sure we're recording the system audio if we were recording additional video. But at this point, all I want is just the visual aspect of things. So we're just gonna keep that shut off. This is right here for my actual mic. So that way if I'm recording my mic, but in this, this case, we don't need to record that. I don't want that at all, because all we need is just a screen. Now we can also take, and you'll notice, see this? We can move, we can capture wherever we want to. And if we were just to grab this, we can hit full screen, it'll just fill out the entire screen. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and record the screen, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up YouTube, because I'm gonna grab some of my videos since we own the rights to it. So we're gonna fast forward here, Okay, now that I have all the assets set up the way I like to, uh, what I'm gonna do now is with this little panel here, I'm gonna end up pressing record on it. Now here's the cool thing is, I'm just gonna record some of these assets and I'm gonna close them out and keep recording them. And, and all I'm gonna do is later on, so I'm just gonna kind of just copy and, and paste them out. So we'll probably do about 10 seconds on each one of them. So uh, I'm just gonna press record. Now you notice it's doing the countdown Okay, so it's important to note that if you are capturing kind of video and such like that, make sure that you have the rights to it. Now, naturally, we have the rights to this. You can't just go around and grabbing someone's property, though. So if it's not your, your channel, then don't do it. This instance, we're good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make this big. It's off of watching one 30 second ad. That is $3. Now, mind you, that doesn't go into my pocket. It goes into whatever streamer I wanted to support at that time. So. As a streamer, it is probably good of you to let your North American viewers. And that's okay, so I'm gonna pause this, and then I'm just gonna repeat the same process, and we're gonna kind of just zoom through this, and you'll kind of get the idea. Now that I'm all set, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press stop. Okay, now at stop, we're gonna go ahead and open up Camtasia. We have the entire video here, so I've got about roughly, right after the bumper is done, 
we're looking at about 15 to 16 seconds and I did roughly about six to seven videos there so if we did some good transitional things it doesn't need to be anything super fancy obviously we can spend hours but I just want you to show you something that's just simple to do we're gonna go ahead add the timeline and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ch chop this up into little bits so we're gonna go ahead and just keep scooting forward here until we find the appropriate spot so Looks like we got the escape right there. All right, good. So I'm going to hit chop, boom. And we're just going to keep breaking this up. Okay, so it looks like I finished it right about there. So I'm going to break that up right there immediately. And then we're going to go into the next clip. And once I have it blown up here, all right, we'll wait for the escape to go. There we go. Boom. I'm going to get rid of that right there. And it's just rinse and repeat at this point. We're just going to want to make sure we just pull each one of these things out. Okay, so now I have all these elements kind of chopped up into bite-sized pieces. We've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven parts that we can kind of, you know, split up and interweave however we wish. So I'm just going to grab all of them. We're just going to kind of scoot them over as is. And you'll see that it's more than enough to fill 30 seconds. In fact, we'll probably have a blip of everything, you know, one piece at a time. So here's what we'll do is I'm going to start it out. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to grab a shot of the both of us here. And we're going to go ahead and highlight these ones and let's just scoot it on over. So I'm going to move the cursor right over here and let's zoom in just a little bit. I'm just going to kind of zoom it on over there. All right, so we can go into here something like this, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do some behaviors. And behaviors are a lot of fun and transitions are even more fun. So let's start it out with some type of a behavior. So I'm gonna use, let's just do, why not, we'll go fly in. All right, so if we were to do this, so here we go. Not bad, I kinda like that. From here, we can probably play around with some of the dynamics on here. So you can see if we were to start it out here, all the way. I think it'd be kind of fun if we just went ahead and I'm gonna do something fun here. We're just gonna freeze frame on this one. What we're gonna do is grab this and I'm gonna separate it out. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to zoom in really, really, really close. I'm going to right click on this, add clip speed. Let's try this again. Here we go. All right. And I'm hoping that it'll get it to where it looks like it freezes for a second. Yeah, there we go. So if we were to piece this together, And I think this would be kind of cool where we go into to different transitions. So let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and transition this one over top of it. Let's go grab a different behavior. Why not? Um, you know, let's, let's do a ripple effect. Why not? Drop it on in here. And we can drop in. Let's do this one right over top of it. Let's go grab a behavior. Let's jump and fall into place. All right, so here's the fun thing about behaviors. We can actually change these. We're gonna go over, I'm gonna hit during, and I wanna have no jump. So that way when it comes in, let's do a little bit of an animation. We're gonna scale it up. Let's move that down just a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna kinda just zoom this on in here. So let's see how this looks. We still have plenty of footage we can put in here. So I'm gonna keep just stacking this on top. So here we go. I'm gonna zoom out just a little more again. It looks like we still have a ton of footage left and we're almost to the end. That's okay, we can just play around with this. I feel almost like we can probably stop at that beat. It's 
Seems like a perfect spot for me to just slip this right in here. Let's put in a behavior. Behaviors are a lot of fun. Let's pop it up. There we go. Let's make sure there's nothing during. I don't like that to move around, so there we go. We'll do another one here. Why don't we just explode? During, there's none, good. So we can play it through, all right, here we go. We can use, let's see here. Uh, you know, I kind of liked sliding, that was a lot of fun. Why don't we scale? And I almost feel like we can probably grab this footage and then circle back around to it. Um, I'm gonna paste it back up here, click and then drag it on up now. Here's what we're gonna do is, I wanna see where the end comes at, right here. And let's move all of these elements to where it's all in line right there. Good. Now if we wanted to, we can highlight both sections by pressing the control and then S. And we can go ahead and delete that. We can scoot this on over in there. And I think at this point, we can probably just drop in. Let's grab the logo. So we're gonna go ahead, import media. I'm going to grab that logo and I think it'd be kind of cool for like the last like few seconds that we just fade out the picture and we bring in the logo. And I think this was a fly in so we're going to go ahead and do a fly in as well so it flies in at the same time. Right click fly in. So as it comes in, if anything we'll, we'll just delay it just a little longer. I like to kind of get it to where it's almost on the beat. There we go. Okay, let's scoot this up and here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in a color background. Let's just go ahead and we're gonna drag this on down. And I'm gonna kick it up to a full red. Let's drag this over here. And what I'll do is a transition on this one. We're going to fade it in. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead and watch it from the beginning. We kick it all the way back here and watch it in its entirety. I think something would be fun if we would just put something here. Let's do a little bit of fun here. So we're going to go to media. I'm going to grab a couple PNGs and we're going to drop them on in here. So let's do this. Open. Insert and we're going to go over. Grab one of him. And let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and drop me down into the uh, picture. What we'll do is make this a little shorter. Right click, drop this one in there. We're gonna make that one shorter as well. And let's see here, I've got it on the boom. And you know what, let's just drop the logo in again. Yeah. 
I want to take an annotation. We're going to drop this in the background here, right behind the logo. And what we'll do is we'll just move this up. That's too high. Not too bad. We're going to go ahead and just maybe just scoot this down just a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here. We're going to create an outline. Let's make that outline just a little thicker. Awesome. And while we're at it, let's take a visual effect. We're going to go ahead and drop in a drop shadow. I'm going to move him over. Move these guys over here. We're going to group these together. I've highlighted the two of these. I'm going to hit Control G to, to group them in. All right, we're going to do the same thing on these guys right here. But I'm going to try to get it choreographed with the beat. Okay, so you can kind of see I'm pointing at this, but it's not exactly where I want it to be. So let's do this. We're going to move this down into here. So it's underneath me and we're able to point to it like that. So here we go. Let's take a look at it. I almost feel like there's probably a little too much of him just zooming in right here. So what we'll do is let's grab just a little bit of another footage here. Maybe something that's already kind of covered up. Um, we could probably grab something right here. I'm thinking uh, maybe. Hmm. Okay, not too bad. We can probably get something a little bit different here, I'm thinking. Here's what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and record one more screen. So we're going to hit record. And I'm going to go over into our channel page. Are you looking for a way to stream out Let's to record multiple it. platforms all from one dashboard? Then you may want to hear us out in what we have experienced with Mob Crush. Find out all you need to know about Mob Crush and how to set everything up so you're live streaming. Okay, I'm going to hit stop on this. Video. So and we're going to go ahead and open Camtasia back up. Let's make sure we save our work. Right click on the new asset. We're going to add it to timeline at playhead. And I'm just going to go ahead and considerably shorten it here. And here's a really cool little thing. We can go ahead and grab the crop tool. I'm going to crop it down to just the channel page. So then people can kind of see that it's, you know, it's on YouTube clearly. And we're going to scoot this over here so that way people just see the channel page. So here we go. And let's go ahead. We're going to throw in, let's try a transition this time. Why not? Throw in that. So let's see how this looks. Excellent. And you can kind of see it fades out with the red layer. What I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to go ahead and we're going to zoom out just a, just a little bit. That was too much. I'm going to highlight each one of these layers just below the red layer. And let's go ahead and drop in a transition. And we're going to fade out on that as well. So let's see how this looks. Excellent. So now it fades out. This is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this level. We're going to hit save and let's go ahead and hit share. We're going to go to local file. Here's the really cool thing is if you happen to be uploading it elsewhere, you can actually go to YouTube directly or Vimeo or even go to your Google Drive. For this instance, I'm going to save it on my computer. We're going to keep the dimensions as is, but let you know you can actually choose different sizes if you wanted to. We're going to go over here. We're going to keep MP4. The cool thing is one of these times we're going to show you how to do it as a GIF. So we're going to hit next. Keep your video settings just as is. Okay, it says frame rates at 60. It's not a big deal to me. I'm going to leave that as is. Next, we're going to leave this alone. Make sure we take off the watermark. And then uh, let's make sure I spell this correctly so it's not messing me up later on. 
I'm gonna select the proper folder. We're gonna hit save. All right, and then we're gonna hit finish. And this will probably take, since it's about 30 seconds, won't take very long at all. Make sure you save your work and you can always double check your MP3 or MP4 file by just double clicking on it and watching it. But we're gonna keep you in suspense. You actually need to go over to Live Streaming Tech on Facebook, you can do that through facebook.com slash live streaming tech. You can take a look at the actual full length video in all its entirety. And uh, speaking of, hey, if you want to learn how to do your profile pic for your business page or your cover art, well, we're gonna send you on over to this side here to figure out how to do your profile pic for your business page. I'm gonna go over to this one if you need to figure out how to do just regular cover art without all the video. In fact, each of these options are 100% free. I'll see you in each one of those, either one. You can watch both of them, why not?